I'm going to be climbing up there. And I don't know what this, these things are, but they're quite mesmerizing. They're whirly gigs. Now I get to follow this minecart track. So where am I now? It's the entrance to an old fight written all over it. So there's the old Shinto shrine. There's the top of Mount Geelong, which I've climbed before. And Pacific Ocean. You know, the higher I get, the more it really does look like a teapot. Basically, it's an ore body. You just sort of slice a canyon through it and uh, mine it that way. So that's pleasant about being in the whipping wind and just sort of crunching along in the mining gravel here. I've stumbled into a copse of alien plant life. So strange. I've never seen plants like this before, I say. Not in any book of botany either. portion of the mountain over there. So here we have an interesting quaint little ruin here. I love just finding this because you know I just came around the corner of the sort of silver grass and bam there was. Fascinating. Now as you can see this adventure has just got a whole lot woollier. Almost as woolly as woolly tops I say. You know, I'm uh, passing other hiking opportunities left and right, so I know that this is not just going to be kind of a one, one trip wonder. I can keep coming back here and trying new routes and going off to places the guidebook doesn't mention. And wow, it's quite slippy. Yeah, it's very steep and just very smooth, which is the current issue. So my feet wants my feet want to slide backwards. Well, I'm a big fan of this trail so far. It's definitely, you know, just kind of a trace through the grass. Some of these old ribbons to make sure you're on the right track. And lots of beautiful scenery everywhere. thing I get to, I'm quite looking forward to mounting that. Here have many the so beautiful flower. Ah yes, ropes and straps. A good sign that adventure is afoot. Adventure is afoot. So this path is quite scrambly. I like it a lot, and requires a lot of a lot of dexterous climb. This path is tight and yet extremely sort of airy all at the same time. With flowers, you're like climbing up with a big drop, but also with plants all around you and these gorgeous flowers. Well, I'm at the top of something now. I just don't know what. Teapot Mountain. And there's the sea and Jewel Fun should be on the other side of that hill because that's the view you get and this is some of where I've come from. Ooh. So as you can see this path is quite beautifully craggy with little rope rope scrambles as well. I'm now headed to Back Cliff, which looks awesome. Spot me. Whew. There's that big pillar over there. Uh, it's actually separated from the cliffs in front by a huge gulf. And I see fixed lines up ahead. And that is an inspiring sight, just seeing the spine of rock just jut up from the valley floor up to there. And also a note, these... Uh, bolted in ropes are pretty much completely unnecessary and this could easily be done without them.
this is very fun. Climb to the precipice. This is actually quite. This looks really fun. This is actually quite a bit steeper. As you can see, at times you don't have much in the way of footing, as it is ladder steep. So that is really fun and I think the next time I come here I'm going to do this route backwards just so I can go up this instead of down it. So that the rock right there in the center is where that ladder the ropes comes down. This is the way I'm That's where I've just come from. Alright, so here it's very loose and pebbly. Right, so now I am inside the deep water. Fascinating. Right, so you wriggle up through this. Continue climbing. behind. So it appears this hike is good like many others I've been on in town. I wonder what the name of that city is or town. It's gonna end like so many others walking the last few hundred meters on a nice empty road. And across the way there is the Shinto Shrine my journey started, so I should almost go back to Jingwashi. And you can see this bridge is quite new. 1850, perhaps. into this precipitation tank where the water is slowed down by passing through these plugs and it then precipitates into sheet iron that's in the bottom of this. Now how they figured out they could get copper like that is beyond me, but that is awesome. So this marvel of steam-powered mechanry is an air compressor. ton of the extensive mine shafts and when the pressure was low they used both of them switched on and it also powered a pneumatic boring device 